What's up, boxing fans? It's your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawler Sports Media in the building. This is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Last night was a hell of a performance by Charles Conwell versus uh, Ash Ashkayev. Media. Media Ashkayev. Sounds Russian. I believe he was Russian or from the Ukraine somewhere. Anyway, uh, that was a hell of a fight. It, it was kind of ugly in the early part of the fight where the referee had to warn both fighters and say, hey, stop wrestling. Box. You know, uh, those foreign guys, they like to use their shoulders and their arms a lot, holding and tussling and turning and spinning you and throwing you as they fell down in the round together uh, in one of the rounds, if you will. But besides that, I thought that uh, Conwell stood solid. Uh, he showed that he could bang. He wanted to do uh, more toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging with this guy, which I didn't agree with that, but I get why he was doing it. But his corner wanted him to do what he's always known best to do, and that's to establish his jab, keep his opponent on the outside like he does so well, and let his hands go in that fashion with multiple combinations. He'll have a bigger success, success rate uh, delivering his punches, if you will. They'll be more technically or technically sound when he delivers them. Uh, he, he, he did the toe-to-toe -to -toe thing for a couple of rounds. Then he came out of that and he established and got back on his jab and started boxing and staying tall and keeping uh, Ashkayev on the end of his jab. Uh, nonetheless, he, he did a hell of a, hell of a job performing and he maintained his WBA uh, title, if you will, uh, within nine rounds. The interesting story of this is, as you all know, Charles Conwell fought Patrick Day, promising up-and-coming prospect in Day out of uh, New York, hell of a fighter, great talent. He was on his way as well. And this was last October the 12th, 2019, when they clashed uh, in the ring. And as you all know, Patrick Day passed four days uh, after that fight from sustaining multiple head shots, took some, some hard shots, punishment, in that fight, uh, he had sustained three knockdowns in that fight. And then four days later, you know, he was in a coma. Four days later, his family discussed it and said, hey, he wouldn't want to live like this. So they signed the paperwork to uh, pull the life support plug and uh, send him home to his heavenly father. Rest in peace, Patrick Day. Uh, you was a great talent and you are definitely missed my brother. Uh, that being said, Conwell stated last night uh, in an interview that he has spoken with uh, Day's parents uh, after all of this had happened, uh, saying how sorry he was and his deepest condolences. And, you know, they, they, they wanted him to continue to carry that torch and to keep winning and fulfilling his dream and his legacy as their son, Patrick Day, would have wanted him to do. Uh, Conwell also went on to say he had wrote a letter talking to Patrick Day saying how sorry he was and uh, he'd do anything to, to, to change it and bring him back here with his family and his friends and his loved ones and that he wanted to hang his gloves up and not pursue boxing or ever step into the boxing ring ever, ever again. Uh, how commendable of this young man. Uh, heart, heartfelt story here, man. Uh, I, I can only imagine living with that, knowing that you were the cause of someone dying in the ring. This just goes to show you all you boxing fans, oh, I could do that, I could do this. What is he doing? Oh, I could do better. Man, listen, these guys risk their lives every day when they step in that ring, even sparring, but more so when they're in there competing. You know, this is the most one of the most dangerous sports. This isn't the team of I. This is an individual sport where you have to display the skills and the skill set to survive defensively and offensively, if you will. Um, so, hey, I can understand how Conwell's heart must feel and had felt uh, during that tragic moment. That probably was one of his worst years ever uh, and, and dreaming and haunting him uh, in, in such a fashion. I can only imagine. Oh, my God. But none to say, needless to say, uh, this gentleman here, man, he's a, he's a true talent. He's a prospect up and coming, future world champion. Uh, 2016 Olympian, and he's like, hey, when do I get my just due? I'm like the only Olympian that's still competing and defeating other undefeated fighters, but I don't get my just due. I don't get my big money shot. I don't get my big title fight, my money. I'm, I, I'm, I've shown that I'm worthy to be here. I paid my dues, you know. When do you guys pay me? When do you guys honor me? Get behind me. 
So I think that's on its way. And I don't think he has much longer to go before he does get his shot. But what I wanted to say is, you know, this guy, uh, Charles Conwell, he's a gentleman and a scholar in and out of that ring. And uh, great job. Uh, well done. Well said, uh, Charles Conwell. Congratulations to Team Conwell last night on a great victory. He's now 14-0 uh, and 0 with 11 knockouts. Keep up the good work, champ. We at Brawler Sports Media will be following you. And uh, good luck to you in your future endeavors. Hey, it's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media in the building. This is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Ho, ho, ho. And it is Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody, from Brawler Sports Media's family to yours. Let's go, champs. Brawlers, Brawlers baby. Brawlers, baby.